scattered across Xianyang Plateau near the Han Dynasty capital city of Chang'an, today's Xi'an, lie dozens of spectacular pyramid mounds dating back 2,000 years. They are the emperor's tombs of the Western Han Dynasty. The largest among those tombs is the Maolin Mausoleum. This is Maolin Mausoleum, also well known as the Great White Pyramid of China. Located 27 miles west of Xi'an, Maolin Mausoleum is where Emperor Wu of Han Dynasty was buried. Emperor Wu was the fifth Han Dynasty emperor, ruling from 141 BC to 87 BC. His reign lasted 54 years, a record not broken until the reign of Emperor Kangxi of Qing Dynasty more than 1,800 years later. Mixed in with the reality of these impressive tombs is a legend of an enormous 1,000-foot-wide jewel-capped pyramid that would outshine even the Great Pyramid of Giza. The existence of pyramids in China remained little known in the West until the 1910s. They were documented in large numbers around Xi'an, first in 1912 by an American travel agent and a trader, Fred Mayer Shoulder. The second and the most famous sighting of the White Pyramid of Xi'an came from United States Army Air Corps pilot named James Gossman, who was flying from China to India in the spring of 1945, when he reportedly saw a huge, white jewel-capped pyramid to the southwest of Xi'an. Maurice Sheehan, Far Eastern director of the Transworld Airline, gave an eyewitness account of his encounter with the pyramid in the March 28, 1947 edition of the New York Times. A photo of Sheehan's pyramid appeared in the New York Sunday News on March 30, 1947. The pyramid in the photo is the Maolin Mausoleum of Emperor Wu of Han Dynasty, different from Egyptian pyramids. The Chinese pyramids around Xi'an are built of mud and dirt, and are flat-topped and covered with vegetation. Emperor Wu is considered one of the greatest emperors in Chinese history due to his strong leadership and effective governance, which made the Han Dynasty one of the most powerful nations in the world. Emperor Wu adopted Confucianism as the state philosophy and the code of ethics for his empire, and all the later dynasties followed suit. As a military campaigner, Emperor Wu led Han China through its greatest territorial expansion. At its height, the empire's borders spanned from Central Asia's Fagana Valley in the west to Korea in the east and northern Vietnam in the south. Emperor Wu dispatched his envoy Zhang Qian into the western regions in 139 BC to seek military alliance to fight the Huns, which resulted in the opening up of the Silk Road. The overall design of Chinese mausoleums had been based on the thought that the deceased emperors should be served as if they were still alive. Construction of Maolin Mausoleum began in 139 BC, the second year in the reign of Emperor Wu, and took 53 years until completion upon the emperor's death in 87 BC. About one third of the court's annual revenue from taxes and tributes was used towards construction of the tomb. To build this tomb, some 270,000 rich and powerful people from all over China were relocated near Maolin, and a new city called Maolinyi came into existence. When completed, it stood out as the most magnificent tomb ever built by Chinese, standing 154 feet high with a rectangular base which measures 728 by 712 feet. It is recorded that the coffin chamber was packed with money and the treasures, and so many figurines of birds, animals, fish, soft-shell turtles, and the figurines of ox, horses, tigers, and leopards. There was no room for additional items by the time the emperor died. It is also recorded that the deceased emperor was buried with a jade cicada in his mouth and was wrapped in jade burial suit sewn with gold thread. Ancient Chinese believed that jade could prevent the body from decaying and preserve the vital spirit or qi of the deceased. By preserving the spirit, the body could later be resurrected.
Jade cicada was used for the reason that cicadas were a symbol of transformation and resurrection because of its unique life cycle. Cicada spent much of its life underground until finally emerging into its final form. Besides the main tumulus mount, there are more than 20 smaller attendant tombs of imperial wives, meritorious ministers, and worthy nobles, including Tomb of Lady Li, the Emperor's favorite concubine, Tomb of General Wei Qing, and the Tomb of Marquess of Champion Huo Qubing. 1600 feet northwest of the Tomb Mount of Emperor Wu lies the Tomb of Lady Li, the Emperor's most favorite concubine. Lady Li's brother was a musician and composed the beauty song as an ode for exceptional beauty. From the north comes the ravishing maiden, whose beauty stands alone. One look at her, cities fall. On the second glass, empires collapse. Care not whether cities fall or empires collapse, such beauty never comes around twice. After hearing this song, Emperor Wu wanted to meet the girl who could match the description that inspired such a song. Enamored of her, she became Emperor Wu's concubine. Standing 88 feet high, the base of this trapezoidal tumulus of Lady Li is measured to be 417 feet square. 3,280 feet northeast of the tomb of the Emperor lies the tombs of General Wei Qing and the Marquis of Champion Huo Qubing. Wei Qing and Huo Qubing were both great military commanders who were excellent at marching deep into the enemy's territory and effectively perished enemies, and they had never felt an war. Emperor Wu commanded to bury them near his imperial tomb, which was the highest honor for officials in ancient China. The tumulus on the left is Wei Qing's tomb, the mount on the right, topped with the pavilion, is the tomb of Marquis of Champion Huo Qubing. General Wei Qing died in 106 BC, and his tomb was built to model Mount Lu, a mountain in the territory previously occupied by the Huns. Huo Qubing died in 117 BC at the age of 24. He commanded the Battle of Hexi, defeated the Huns at Mount Qilian when he was 19 and the Silk Road was open as a result. At the age of 21, he co-commanded and won the Battle of Moor Bay against the Huns. As a result, part of the Hong branches immigrated westward and settled along the Danube, causing indirect destruction and the dissolution of the Western Roman Empire in the following centuries. To praise the military achievements of Marquis of Champion Huo Qubing, Emperor Wu ordered his tomb to be built in the shape of Mount Qilian. Various kinds of large-sized carved stone animals were placed in front of and on the tomb mount, making this tomb to be the very first tomb in China's history to have stone sculptures of animals, among which the horse stomping the Huns is the most famous. Today, the tomb of Huo Qubing is where Maolin Museum located the museum exhibits 4,100 cultural relics and 14 stone sculptures of animals. The Golden Horse of Maolin, the largest gilded horse ever found in China, was discovered in 1981 by a farmer in a field nearby the Maolin Mausoleum. Looming in the distance is a group of attendant tombs of worthy nobles and meritorious ministers including tomb of the emperor's old sister, Princess Xinyang, tomb of Huo Guang, one of the regions commissioned by the emperor. Emperor Wu earned the highest regard from Chinese historians for vastly expanding China's territory and creating a prosperous, centralized state that is remembered today as one of the greatest periods in Chinese history. His final resting place is well known as the Great Pyramid of China.